I think that uh, we all understand uh, how complex uh, is an issue of uh, tax policy at EU level. So we have uh, unanimity rule uh, regarding any uh, tax decision uh, in the EU. And uh, so far uh, we didn't have uh, any um, agreements in the smaller group of uh, member states. So this is uh, the first time when uh, uh, our member states agreed to allow uh, to harmonize uh, a tax, in this case uh, financial transaction tax, in the limited uh, number of uh, member states, in 11 member states. And um, this is uh, actually a historical uh, event uh, because uh, it uh, breaks uh, unanimity rule. Uh, uh, well, so of course uh, this uh, decision uh, will uh, have its impact also on uh, global developments. Uh, uh, you probably know that uh, for a long time we were advocating for the global um, introduction of uh, financial transaction tax. Uh, we uh, uh, raised this issue several times uh, in G20. Um, unfortunately, at this stage, uh, not all members of uh, G20 are ready to, uh, to move uh, ahead. And that uh, is why we decided uh, to, uh, to propose the re regional uh, solution. Um, we uh, haven't succeeded in uh, to reach an agreement at, uh, at the level of 27 member states. But uh, for the first time ever, uh, we agreed to move ahead uh, with a regional approach uh, in taxing uh, financial sector. And um, uh, I think that in many areas, including also uh, uh, um, taxation um, or taxation of uh, financial sector, uh, the issue of uh, leading by example is an important uh, element. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I believe uh, that uh, when uh, will we, will, we will agree on, um, uh, on this uh, proposal, uh, that will uh, uh, really pave uh, the way for discussions uh, in global arena, how we can move ahead also globally. Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, we uh, will uh, table the substantive proposal uh, very quickly, uh, we are finalizing our work and internal procedures and uh, uh, I believe that already in February uh, uh, you will see the substantive proposal uh, of the Commission. Um, we have uh, a clear request uh, from the Member States, participating Member States, uh, that we should base uh, our um, uh, substantive proposal on uh, on the scope uh, and uh, objectives uh, of uh, the initial proposal. So uh, it means that we cannot move uh, uh, very far from, uh, from what we proposed initially. Of course, we have to take into account uh, uh, that in this case we'll have uh, um, not all member states uh, participating, but um, uh, 11 member states, uh, so some technical adjustments of the proposal, uh, proposal will be needed. And um, uh, we are also are considering uh, very seriously uh, the request of the Parliament uh, to complement uh, our proposed uh, residence principle uh, with uh, the issuance principle. Um, uh, so our services are currently uh, analyzing um, the legal uh, 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 legal requirements uh, for the inclusion of, of this principle and uh, it might happen uh, that uh, this request of the parliament uh, will be uh, will be met. Uh, well, so I think that it's important um, uh, that, uh, to distinguish um, two uh, separate commission's proposal. So uh, what we are discussing now is the proposal on harmonization mm -hmm. of uh, financial transaction uh, tax uh, uh, in 11 member states and uh, if agreed uh, uh, then the proceeds from this uh, tax uh, if any other decision is not taken uh, would go to uh, to the budgets of uh, our member states 
uh, I um, said several times, many times actually, that um, from our point of view, the preferred way how to use these proceeds would be to uh, allocate them uh, for financing um, uh, development and uh, climate change goals. But uh, of course, member states uh, in this case would be free to, to decide so on, on their own. Some of them they have uh, uh, very heavy consolidation needs, uh, uh, and uh, so it might happen that uh, at least initially those uh, proceeds could be used uh, for this uh, purpose.